Hi and welcome, uh, this is Greg Milner from Worldwide Salon Marketing and I'm with one of the greatest salespeople and motivators in the salon and spa industry anywhere in the world, Julie Piantadosi. Thanks for joining us, Julie. Hi Greg, hi Greg, how are you going? Now Julie, you are in demand as a motivational and customer service speaker all over the world. Um, you own your own salons, but what are companies hiring you for to speak at their uh, major seminars and conferences? Well, I think I'm in about my 17th year now as a as a speaker working for the hair and beauty companies. Um, fully booked until the middle of 2017, so I guess that really says it all. Um, and I now get to choose um, quite carefully um, and by choice who I want to speak and work with and what sort of companies I want to affiliate myself with and be part of, which is just awesome. And the main focus is how to make more money, really. That's what everyone wants to know. How do we make more money in, you know, struggling, salon owners are struggling, how do we get staff, um, I guess, thinking different ways about selling, because I think we have to be a little bit careful and mindful when we tell people that they have to sell more, it's actually a very negative term to say to somebody, and usually uh, the reaction that you'll have is if you tell your staff they have to sell more, is almost a, they almost roll, roll their eyes and they walk away. So it's really um, the way we communicate with our people and the way um, we're going to change the way we communicate so that we can get a different result. And that's predominantly what I'm on the road um, working with companies from not just hair and beauty, Greg, but also um, all different sorts of companies. So I've worked for the last couple of years with our major airline. Um, next year extensively I'm working with one of Australia's uh, leading banks, which was almost a dream come true for me um, to train um bank managers, which is going to be a little bit different to training stylists and therapists. But, you know, the, the thing is the same all the time, is empowering people to show up with the right attitude and deliver amazing customer service. That's really what it's about. And if you deliver amazing customer service, then everything else becomes easier. But if you are struggling with getting people to show up and deliver great customer service, then everything is hard and you'll find that you're always struggling to make money. Now, people flock to see you at uh, major um, speaking events all over the world. Um, yeah. But, of course, you can only be in one place at one time. So you've just produced um, a, a new series of uh, DVDs. We'll get onto that in a moment, um, which help um, salon owners and their staff sell more product. Um, but tell me about what it is that stops people from selling. Well, first, first of all, Greg, just to talk about the, the DVDs and the new, um, you know, the new launch. This is our this is our new launch um, together that we're launching the um, retail revolution DVDs. And salons have been for a long time, you know, having me work exclusive in their salon, which is very, very expensive, very productive. But also with me being so heavily booked now, I can't. I don't physically, I can't be in salons anymore. So this is a great way of having me in front of your people um, and training them a new way of doing things. So go back to the question you asked me first, Greg. What did you just ask what me? It, what is it about selling that people find so difficult? Oh, I think it's the psychology behind expecting a no. It's all the excuses that people come up with. So, you know, especially with, you know, uh, I see all the hair and beauty forums and I see people posting and taking photos of what you can buy in the supermarket. And most um, most salons actually stock retail products, which is available in chemists and in the supermarket. And so I guess they stop communicating and they get scared to ask um, or, or offer choices or communicate with their, with their clients. And I, I just want to, just before we do anything, I think... Uh, when we talk about customer service, which is my absolute passion, um, and customer service, being amazing customer service is just a choice. It's not something that you're taught to do. I really believe it's a choice that you, you, you get to make every day. It's just the way some people show up and they don't want to deliver amazing customer service. If you replace the word customer in your salon or client with the word guest, and that's how we should be treating them. So instead of calling them, you know, or talking about, you know, you know uh, client satisfaction or, or customer service, let, let's really call them guests and treat them like they are guests in our business. So what's the difference between a guest and a client or customer? Okay, so if, if we think about the difference between an advocate and satisfaction, 
So if we think about what a, what, a, what a guest wants or what a client wants when the client shows up into the salon, what do they want? So we're, whether you're in a hair or a beauty salon, it's just the same. So, you know, they, wanna, they want value for money. Let's get that clear now. You can't position yourself to be the most expensive if you don't have the reasons for why you're the most expensive. You can't just charge whatever you want to charge just because. So forget um, about price for a minute but, um, and really look at value for money. So are our guests getting value for money? Um, what does the guest feel when the guest walks in the door? And really that's what customer service is, is the very first thing that the guest feels when they walk into the business, how we make them feel. Um, and that's really what customer service is and we get that one chance to make a first impression. So what we want to do is instead of having satisfied guests and satisfied clients where they want value for money, they want to feel amazing, um, they want to get what they've been asked for, they want to walk out and be satisfied, the opposite of that is when we create raving fans, when we have advocates, advocates walking out the door and bragging about the experience that they just had. And really that's the difference to me. Um, and if you are delivering amazing customer service and making people feel amazing, not only on the outside, because that's the easy part, but on the inside, when you make guests feel amazing on the inside and you're, you know, charging uh, accordingly and offering good value for money and, and having the whole experience, uh, then you find you're not going to be struggling in business. But if you are not delivering amazing customer service, then clients are always going to be shopping in your business on price. It's going to be about being the cheapest or, 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 the, or you know, um, what, what extra they're going to be getting. But when you deliver amazing customer service, if it costs an extra $5 or $10, if you make them feel amazing, they don't care. In your travels around hundreds and hundreds of salons and speaking to hundreds and hundreds of people, you must have seen and heard some horror stories of customer service. And oh, wonder, my God, yes. What, yes, I, mean, I think you, we all have, haven't we? Can you give an example of what yeah. typically happens in a, in a salon yeah. or spa? I'll, I'll, I'll give you this one, Greg. So um, I was, this was a little while ago, I was calling a salon um, at exactly 8 to 9. So it was 8 minutes to 9 o'clock. You know, it was 8.52 and I was calling and I knew that, you know, there's 17 people that work in this salon. I knew they were there. And, you know, they ignored my call until 9 o'clock. And when I went in there, I, I was, you know, had, you can imagine, it wasn't even my business. Can you imagine if it was your business? Ignoring people, ignoring guests with money, right? I had smoke coming out of my ears and I walked into the salon and said, why did no one answer my call? I, I, I was calling for like 10 minutes. And they looked at me like I was stupid. I said, but it wasn't 9 o'clock yet. <laughs> right let's sit down and have a chat you know and it's it's that perception of um you know i get paid from nine o'clock and i'm going to start working at nine o'clock and i believe that showing up a uh, showing up on time is actually late that's my perception of showing up on time so yeah it, it took a little bit of work to shift their mindset because that was the culture of the entire salon so if we're not paid to start working until nine o'clock, then we'll just ignore everything that happens before then. And I think it actually happens a lot. It's not something that's so unheard of. And the other thing that I, you know, I can tell you horrible horror stories, but I think we need to be a bit more vigilant about things that happen on a day-to-day -day basis, like ignoring people when they walk into your business. I mean, waiting for 60 seconds or 45 seconds for a guest that wants to spend money in your business is a really long time. So, you know, sometimes we have to almost train the tiniest things to our people, which is being on the phone and having a conversation on the telephone and acknowledging people when they walk in. I'm not saying you've got to get off the phone, but just a, a, a smile and a wave and it won't be a moment. That's all it takes. And yet it's the tiniest little things. You know, I often say that common sense is the one thing that I can't train anybody. You either have it or you don't. Absolutely. Yeah, that's, one, that's the one thing that I find business in general in Australia, uh, we really need to do common sense better. Let's not even talk about the wow factor and it being amazing. Let's just get the common sense stuff right first. So give us one example. You, you know, give us something for free here. Give us an idea of um, how a salon owner can uh, train and get their staff to actually sell retail product. Just one thing, one easy thing. Yeah, sure. So the first one easy thing, you know, I, Greg, the, the DVDs cover everything that we've heard about selling retail. We put that in the bin and we start all over again. So I'll, I'll try to give you as much as I can on a short period of time so that salon owners can start working on something. Um, and the first thing we have to do is stop asking questions, Greg. What sort of questions? You know, well, 
any any questions that are, are have a clear expectation of a no. So what you'll find in our industry is you'll find stylists and therapists actually nodding their head when they're asking a question. You know, did you want to rebook today, Greg? You know, we have a clear expectation that you're going to say no. Um, did you want to take those products today or did you have enough at home? You know, the answer is always with the psychology behind nodding your head when you're asking a question is when you have a clear expectation that the answer is going to be no. So instead of asking stupid questions, I'll call it just stupid. You know, did you want to blow dry today or did you want me to just dry it off? Did you want to take a treatment today? Did you want a treatment today? The answer is always going to be no. Always. I guarantee you, 92% of the time, actually, 92% of the time, the answer is always going to be no. So what we have to do is we have to give people choices. Because when you give people a choice, statistically, when you give people a choice in customer service, 96% of the time, they will take an option. It's one of the things I've taught for years, is when you're yeah. rebooking, would you like to rebook a Tuesday at, or at 10 o'clock or Thursday at 3 p.m.? Which of those two times would suit you best? Yeah, perfect, yeah. And you know, the whole thing about customer service is the client always wants to feel like they're in control. So we always have to make them feel as though, um, you know, um, I, I know the perception of, of our industry is we are in control. The clients don't know what they want. They just show up and they want to feel amazing. That's absolutely true. So clients don't know what they want. They don't know whether they want their hair coloured or their legs waxed or whether they want products at home, whether they want skincare. They don't know what they want. They just want to feel amazing. So it's our job to deliver that and deliver that well. But at the same time, they want to feel as though the control is, is up to them. So we're not telling them what to do. So when you ask questions and you give people choices, the control comes back to them and, and they feel more satisfied. And Greg, retail just triples immediately overnight, just, just immediately. And actually, Greg, you know, it's virtually impossible to get a new client to come into your business. It's virtually impossible. And if you want to know how to get clients to come into your business, right, you visit Worldwide Seller Marketing. You guys are the leaders. You know how to do that. You do that really, really well. But when we get them into the business, we have to know that we have to give them choices and allow them allow them to spend, if they want, as much money as possible. Now, if the guest chooses to say yes or no, I don't care. If they say no, that is absolutely fine. I don't, I don't care about... I actually don't care about selling retail, but I care about giving people choices if they do, and I, I want to make sure that their hair or their skin is in my best interest. So when they leave, that they feel as though we have exceeded every single expectation because the worst thing we can do... Can you imagine a client coming in and you don't go through the process of giving them options and giving them choices and, you know, um, the, the whole process, you know, and they leave and then they, they might need something, then you actually inconvenience them because they've got to go somewhere else and buy it. So it's um, the whole training, this new way of how we train our people is not how to sell more retail. It's how to deliver exceptional customer service every single time, which actually just sells lots of retail anyway. So it's a win-win for everybody. It is a win-win. Um, salon owners can't get you in their salons, uh, much as many no. try. Um, the only way they're going to see you is to go along to one of your events, and they are spread far and wide all over the world. The only real realistic way is to uh, get you into the salon is via your um, DVD series. So it's you on the screen with the staff. Tell us what's in these DVDs. So, Greg, they're really, um, they're really sharp, they're shiny, they're fun, they're entertaining and super, super, super transforming. So we're not going to show them something that they've seen before or heard before. Um, so it's a three very simple three-part DVD sessions. So what you want to do is um, have team meetings, three weeks. If you can do it three weeks consistently in a row, awesome. The salon owners usually who are too busy and too tired to do staff meetings or do staff meetings when everything's broken and wrong. That's how our industry does staff meetings. Everything's wrong. Right, Friday morning, you know, 9 o'clock, we're going to do a staff meeting. Instead of that, I want you to empower your people and, and just let them know that you're going to give them some tools of, of how to communicate better and, and get better client satisfaction. So we start with the DVD number one, which is five-star customer service. Um, which takes them through an entire journey from start to finish of all the touch points um, of how the guest feels and just shows them some psychology that is very, very simple, um, but there's a lot of psychology behind um, these training sessions. Um, and then the second one is all about their superpowers and what they bring to the business. 
So most stylists and therapists actually think that they don't have any superpowers. And I always ask, do you have any? That's not it. Superpowers? What do you mean? I don't have superpowers. No. And so by the end of the session, when I ask the same question, so who has superpowers now? Everyone's like, me, I've got superpowers. Because if you don't have superpowers in our industry, if you don't know why people should come and see you as opposed to the stylist next to you or the therapist next to you, then you've got a real problem. So understanding their personal brand and what they bring to your salon. And I, I guess this is a real aha moment where it kind of shows people that believe in their leader and want to be part of what they're doing and the ones that don't. So if you really look at, you know, people that have a job as a job and people who have a job as a calling, people who have a job as a career. So we talk, we talk about all this sort of stuff, which really, really gives them some aha moments. Then the third one, when this is the, you know, I think we have to remember why we employ people and we have to always be, we always have to be mindful of why we employ people. Because salon owners get a bit confused, Greg. They think they employ people so that those people can pay their bills. So when staff say to them, oh, no, I, you know, I can't leave early because I need to pay my rent, salon owners say, okay, we hire people for one reason and one reason only. We hire people for profit. And that's it. That's the only reason why I, I employ anybody is for profit. So um, now that doesn't mean that you need to be a bitch of how you hire people. No, no one wants to work for a bitch. But be mindful of why you hire people. And don't expect people to come profitable to your business. Sometimes you think that we hire people and they show up and they've got to show up profitable. We've got to show them how to be profitable. We have to show them how to be profitable. And that's what DVD number three does, Retail Revolution, shows them how to get a pay rise, how to make more money and how to triple their retail sales through some very clever communication. And it happens instantly overnight. So there's a link on this page where people can buy your um, DVD. In fact, there's a bunch of um, DVD and CD products on your website, isn't there? Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff, and um, we've actually got a promotion on the salon in the box as well at the moment. So if you don't have systems and procedures, this is a great opportunity for you to buy it while we have the link open. So um, um, it's actually a special price, and it shows you everything that's on there. Another great product we also have, Greg, which is only $247, but it's winning at life. So this is great for a salon owner. It's it's nothing really to do, actually, it's nothing to do with the hair business at all. But if you, you know, what we do is build products. We have relationships with our, you're being very noisy, Greg. We have relationships with our partners. We have relationships with the people we work with, with our children. So winning at life, um, if anyone does have some of the products, um, you know, uh, or, or is really looking for something for themselves, winning at life is a great um, tool for themselves. But if you want some instant cash into your business and you want to really give your staff some brand new tools of how to communicate, which will guarantee guarantee it triples retail overnight then then retail revolution is the pack you want to buy and i tell you for under 300 dollars, there's just nothing like this it's simple it's easy when the new staff member comes on board because let's face it you know we kind of um we we can and we, we need to understand that we should be able to you know everybody's replaceable we should be able to if when people leave is hire new people so if we have good tools and we have the right tools of how to show people how we do things then everything becomes easier so when a new person comes into your business if you hire a new therapist a new technician a new hairdresser uh, they just go through the three-part training dvds so that your customer satisfaction is five star every single time their accountability to how they show up is five star every single time and they're selling bucket loads of retail easy Going through from uh, from this um, video to uh, your website on that link on the on the page, is there any special offer you can give them um, that only applies today? Um, so they buy the retail revolution. Um, what else can you uh, can you send them? I mean, this stuff arrives in the post, doesn't it? It's hard copy. Yeah. It's, so it's there's, DVDs. there's no there's, we don't email anything <clears> or no. You actually receive it's it's a box set. Um, each CD is absolutely beautiful. You know, they're, they're five-star stuff. It's beautiful stuff. So they'll receive the package. Um, what I can do is, uh, Greg, put me on the spot here. Um, and I'm, um, you know, super passionate about worldwide seller marketing. Um, they are the, you guys are the company that I send uh, anyone who's interested in getting new clients or, or getting their existing clients, which is what you guys are really good at, spending more money, then, you know, you are the key for marketers. So what I'd like, what I can do for your people is anyone who buys retail, Revolution today, I can offer um, 
half price for the Winning at Life box set. So Greg, they'll actually pay $297 for the Retail Revolution and we can do the Winning at Life box set for half price. Fantastic offer. So that's great, Julie. Thank you for that. So uh, click on the link, folks. Go straight through to Julie's website. Um, how long will it take to deliver those packages? Oh, three Julie? days, Greg. They'll have it in three days. And if anyone is procrastinating about whether they can afford it or not, I, I guarantee you, whether you have one person working in your salon, or even if you're on your own, sometimes even people, operators that are working on their own need that kickstart. You, you will, the next day, sell what you've just paid for. You, you'll just make it in retail. That simple. Go Easy. on, do it. Don't wait. Julie, been fantastic talking to you, as oh, it always is. Talking to you, always, Greg. Pleasure. See you guys. Bye.